Okay, hello Caitlin. It's Monday, July 6th. Happy July. I like how last week turned into like unofficial take a vacation week. Totally cool with that. Um, we had a pretty good fourth. Um, we went and saw the balloons at 6 in the morning. It's really funny because when Garrett and I first met, we were going to go take pictures of the balloons. Like before we were dating, we weren't even dating yet. And we were going to go like there's like a photo meet up there. So we we're going to go take pictures of the balloons. And then it was too windy. So the balloons didn't launch and we ended up just like walking around Provo at 6 in the morning, which is kind of silly. But now, two years later, we have finally seen the balloons take off. Um, if you haven't been, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty cool. Um, it's neat to like see them on the ground like being inflated. That's the coolest part. Then they take off when they're far away. But it's cool to watch them like inflate them and stuff. So that was neat. Um, we ended up having some Argentinian pastries, <laughs> which is not American at all, but was very delicious. Um, we watched pretty much a whole season of Parks and Rec, which I don't know how much more American you can get. So, you know, totally acceptable for the July activity. Um, also, we got kettle corn at the Freedom Fest. Yum, kettle corn. And um, we just stayed at like our house to watch fireworks, which was actually pretty neat because we kind of live on a hill. There were like some a few trees blocking the view, but um, for the most part, it was just like fireworks all across the valley. It was really cool. And we had like a perfect view for Stadium of Fire, so we got to see all of that really clearly, and it was awesome. And Garrett has actually never seen Stadium of Fire in all the years he's been in Provo, so another first. <laughs> he has seen it now. So yeah, I hope your fourth was fun. Um, I know you were in Reno for your friend's wedding. How was that? Tell me about it. And did you get your animation project in done, done in time to send it to your professor who was going to review it for you? I don't know if you did because he only gave you a week and he wasn't going to accept excuses because he's a jerk face. You should tell me about that. Also, I'm reading a book lately that I think you would enjoy. It's called Shades of Grey. Not Fifty Shades of Grey, but just Shades of Grey by Jasper Fafford. <laughs> he has two F's, so I'm gonna say him twice. The Ford. Um, and it's like a dystopian novel set in the future where there's like no color and they have to like artificially color things and you're like based, you're put in a class based on what color you can see. So like the purples are the highest and the grays are the lowest um, with like orange and yellow and green and red in between and stuff. Um, and nobody is allowed to make spoons and it's silly. There's one rabbit left in the world and everybody goes to see it as like a tourist attraction. Um, but anyway, it's British and it's lovely and I think it would be your style. So you should check it out now that you have more time to read and stuff. Man, what are you going to do? Okay, tell me your plans now that you're not in school anymore. Because when I got out of school, I did all the stuff. That was when I made my first one-on-one -on -one list was when I got, when I graduated because I was like, I'm not going to do anything unless I have some goals. And so I made that and that kept me on track. But, um, yeah, tell me what you're going to do, like fun-wise, because I know you're going to like, you know, try and find a job, blah, 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 but you should be rewarding yourself because you're done with everything. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you're getting things figured out, um, living-wise, work-wise, all that good stuff. Also, game night and possibly inside out on July 14th. You should tell me what you think about that. I can text you about that too. Anyway, I don't think I have anything else to tell you, but um, I hope you're doing well, and I hope your trip was fun, and I shall see you on Thursday. Keeping authentically awesome.